Tesla, Team Tesla, Team Tesla, what's up, YouTube, YouTube, what's up, LeSean Wick is back here with another video. How y'all like the music? Little nice and calm and relaxed, right? I don't like when it speak down here, because then I gotta look down, I like to look like that. I like to look into your eyes. What's up? Y'all see that today, Tesla is up 4.54%, giving me a total profit. Well, I'm going to say gain because I'm not going to take it out. Give me a total gain of $11.91 as it just moved right now in front of your eyes. I believe Tesla is about to uptrend pretty soon here. And it might just uh do a nice uptrend because it might. Oh, yeah, it's about to pass its highest point. So I'm going to go ahead and dollar cross average real quick. Let me show you guys something what I'm looking at so you can see what I'm looking at real quick. It's kind of blurry. I don't know how I can. I don't think I could be able to zoom in like with this like this, but from what I'm looking at right now, we just got some consolid. As you can see, the uptrend right here. You see the gap up, right? What I tell you what happens with a gap up. Easy. The next thing is gonna happen is either gonna go down or up. Gotta wait for confirmation, right? So it went up, as you see, and then it got, it did, this is consolidation right here. It started doing consolidation, okay? As it's doing consolidation, it just now passes highest point. So it might start to uptrend. It might start, it might do what they call an outbreak. Let's see. So let me go ahead and dollar cost average real quick so you guys can see this. All right. Let's see. I'm going to put uh, $15.50. Just because. All right, I'll do that again. So, when it comes to Tesla, I'm gonna tell you something. When you lo when you're gonna hold a position for a while, it's like when you dollar cost average, it almost really don't matter when you do it, right? Because you're going to be holding a position for a while. And we know that Tesla will continue to do this. Okay. It's going to come down. You know, it's going to do this little thing, come down. But it's going to always go back up more. You understand? You guys know what Tesla is about. Tesla, we don't even need to talk about. All right. We don't even need to explain. Because Tesla is going to be around for a while. Okay. And with everything that they're implementing now... Right with their business, you guys got to understand something, right? When it comes to companies, especially like this, a company like this, and most companies in general, when they first open, sometimes they're not even in profit until like two or three years later, four years later, right? Because so much stuff is going on that they reinvesting the money back into the company, reinvesting, reinvesting to research, growth, development, expansion. You know, so much stuff is happening within that time frame. And then, after the fourth year, fifth year, now the money's starting to roll in. And it's just the beginning when the money start rolling in. Just the beginning. Because they're not even at full, you know, 100% capacity yet. You understand? Like, like how Amazon is. But even Amazon is still growing, but at a very slow pace. Because they're already like, you know... So in an EV, in an EV electric vehicle world, you know, right now, y'all know Tesla was doing their thing, right? But you know, in the business world, you have other companies that's going to come out too. Why? Because not one company can have everybody as a customer, you know, unless it's, you live in a, a different country and there's a certain rulership or something, you know, but that's a totally different story, right? But um, with that being said, right? I'm very really confident and I have a strong belief in, in, in Tesla. So there's no issues for me to place my money with this company. I have no worries. It's all about like the trading style. Like right now I plan to hold for a little while because, you know, I've been trading for a while doing different trading styles. And I just saw what Tesla did last year. Like what they did last year was like crazy. Right. And it, what they did last year and it's a month missing from this. It's a month of data missing from this year month because we're in February now, right? So when I see something like this, it's like, man, 
from point A to point B, just investing in between the whole time. You left your money in there. That's that's a, that's a nice percentage, man. And I tell you what, you're not going to the bank and getting this percentage. No way, no how. Okay. And this is just my personal opinion, how I feel. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not licensed or none of that, right? But I will say this. For those of you that have 401ks and stuff like that, right? You know, just imagine if you had some knowledge, right? And you knew how, you knew how to do this and you had strong confidence and, you know, and you just you just said, you know what? I'm going to transfer my 401k. And, and let's say you did this last year in January. You took everything out and put it in, in Tesla. Your whole, your whole 401k. Not saying don't do that. I'm not saying don't do that. You know what I'm saying? But just, just, just fast forward. Like you, you trained yourself, and fast forward. You've been doing it for years, and you just finally say, "Oh, you know what? You know I'm going to take control of my money, right?" And then you do that shit all in Tesla, right? And then a year later, you, 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 your whole portfolio went up seven hundred percent. But you know, <laughs> so look. I had, a, I had a really good conversation with a friend of mine who still worked for the city. And we was talking about the 401k, man. I said, man, I wish I knew what I knew now, what I know now, back then when I had a 401k. Because I had a 401k, yeah, you know, I had one. And it accumulated about, I think, 70 grand. You know, I wasted it all, of course. But imagine I knew what I know now with that. What I could do with just 10000 on a daily basis. 20,000 on a daily basis. Come on, man. It's, it's, knowledge is crazy because a lot of people that's working right now, have a, have a, they probably been their job 10, 15 years. They got a nice 401k. When I say nice, they got a nice amount, right, of money for our level. You know what I'm saying? And if they could take that money and just and flip it every day, take it and start flipping it. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't have the knowledge when I had the money. You know what I'm saying? And I got the knowledge. And I'm trying to build the money. You see how that works? All right, listen. Here we go. So look, let's get back to Tesla real quick, all right? So looking at the month, going back a month, Tesla is up 22%. Going back a week, Tesla is 0.71%. Uh, all right? For the day, Tesla's up 4%. So one of the things I always tell you guys, when you see numbers, you got to pay attention to the numbers. You see the monthly? The monthly is 22%, right? Then you swing it to your left. Those, those, that's a big difference with those numbers, right? That's a big difference, right? But then now, when it, as it did that big drop, you see, right? Okay, something going to start happening. Here we go. Because it's going to go down, right? It's going to go down. You're going to see drops. It's going to go down. You're going to see drops. That's just the nature of the beast. You could pick any stock, look at any stock, look at it. It's the nature of the beast, right? It does three things. Remember, okay, here we go. Oh, I don't got my little notes. I can't even draw for you guys. But listen. I'm trying to think if I got a pen over here or something. Oop. All right. You got to keep this in mind, right? When you're looking at any chart, it does three things. It goes up, it goes down, and it goes sideways, right? Uptrend, downtrend, consolidation. And it mixes it mixes up sometimes, you know what I'm saying? You look at any, you look at any, uh, I don't feel like look, going back and looking at other charts, all right? Because I'm, I'm drifting a little bit. Nine minutes in. One of the things I want you guys to start thinking about and really focus on is the percentage, the percentage movage for the day, for the week. When you analyze this stuff, when you see something like a company been open since 2010 and it grew. 18,000%. When you see that a company grew 395% in a year and they still have so much more growth. When you see in, in a month, you got 22%. For every $1,000, it's 
$220. I love playing with these numbers in my head because it motivates me to keep on adding, to keep on adding no matter what. No, no, no matter what the situation, just keep on adding. Because someday, right? Someday, someday, see how it says for today? Plus six dollars and fifty three cents. Someday that could say that could say plus five hundred dollars for today. And you could take it up. You could take higher. Do what you please. Right? On this small account. On this small account. Okay? On this small account. This small account is making me money already. Right? It's only $145 in it right now. It's only $145 in it right now. But that $145 so far got me at 8% return on my money. Okay, you go to the bank right now, they'll laugh at you. Say, hey, I'm going to give you $145 and uh, I'll be back for the rest. They won't laugh at you, okay? Now, let's talk about compound effect real quick. Let's talk about compound effect real quick because this is something even I just grasped, grasped just recently, okay? I understand compound effect, but I never really thought about it really too hard. And I, you know, your brain get to working sometimes, your brain get to thinking, and you just, hmm, what? So, look, watch this. You see the 145? You see it says my investments, 145. See, I want to do it, I want to do it with the, uh, hold on real quick. Hope it don't mess up. I want to be drawing and stuff. See if I can do it without it messing up. There we go. There we go. Uh -oh, I mess up. Let's see what happens. All right, we back in. Back in. All right, here we go. Can I do it all at the same time? Let's see. Nope. Well, I guess. Let's see. Okay. So. Let's talk about the compound effect, all right? You see right here, right now, it says my total investment. It's $145, $145, right? But then right here, it says plus $12.03, okay? Now, the compound effect, when the market closes at 4.30 today, When the market closes at 4.30 today, this would be the total investment, all right? Pay attention. That's going to be the total investment when the market closes, all right? No, that's going to be like the value of my position if I was to sell it, okay? If I was to sell it, that would be, that'd be the value. Pay attention. I don't know why it does that. It's funny. So now, tomorrow, right, when the market opens at 9.30, right, let's say it goes up 5%. The 5% is going to be based off this amount. You understand what I'm trying to say? So basically what I'm trying to say is, if you ain't catching it, when you invest in, when you invest in total investment, then you get this new money. This new money right now don't really exist. It exists, but don't exist. Now, I know I might sound confusing. What I'm trying to say is, if, if this position was a drop right now, the money that numbers would go down, of course. If I sell this position right now, Boom, I got 12, I got 12 extra dollars. Right? But if I leave it, now that $12, right? This $12 is gonna gain interest on the uptrend. Alright. Now let's say tomorrow it goes down 
3%, 2%. It won't come from this, my initial investment. It'll come from this. And that's the beauty about the compound effect. You start making money on the money that you made money on. And I, I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Chale. I love it. Chale. I don't smile that much because my, my brown stain, y'all can see it. So I do like a, a half smell like. Eh, eh, eh. All right, listen. So this is what this is what this is what amazes me about investing. It's mind treaty, mind bottom, whatever. Yeah, you make money on top of the free money they gave you. Yeah. So I try to dollar course average every day, not every day through the trading week, Monday through Friday. What I can, I'm just a poor man trying to make it. <laughs> but my motivation is mainly is mainly my motivation. This is my motivation. This is my main motivation right here. This section. I like to see that section right there. Because once you start having like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, those numbers start looking really pretty. When it goes up just two percent, it looks so pretty. And that's my goal as a day trader. Not day trader. I'm not gonna say I'm a day trader yet, right? But I want to just do this full time and just pull out money from the stock market. And live off it. Ow! How do I say? I want to travel the world. I want to be on. A, I want to be on a beach in Venezuela, trading stocks while I'm sipping on my Corona. That's my dream now. And at the same time, what I'm doing, I'm gonna show you guys, so you guys could learn and learn with me. You can learn with me now. You can learn with me now. I want to look at my. I want to look at some old stuff. Give me some memories. Look what I got before. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get back there. I'm gonna get back there. Dang. Little by little. Little by little, man. Whatever you do, whatever little money you make, put something away. Because it's gonna work for you. It's gonna start working for you. You're gonna start compounding. Before you know it. You can just chillax, all right? You can just chillax, okay? Because we don't only have to keep doing this 40 hours a week. You know what I'm saying? 40 hour weeks. Some people doing 80 hour weeks. We have to learn how to trade our money for time instead of our time for money. Because this is what you do when, when you're working. I still do it. You know what I'm saying? I'll still be doing my Uber. I'll be still out there hustling, you know? But that's not going to be forever, right? I want to fast forward, do this, and not have to do that shit no more. Right? I want to trade my money for time. Because that's the goal. We got to understand and break down what we do. Right? We got to break down what we do. Right? When you go to work, you basically invest your time and you trade it for money. And then you use that money to do what you got to do. But what if you could take your money, trade it for time, and do what you got to do with money? When you get older, you start looking at life a little different, just a little bit different. You see things a little different, right? Because I was a working ass motherfucker. I'm going to tell you right now. I was a working ass over time. Give me everything. Right. But then the compound effect of that, you don't know. Man, over the years, there's a lot of time you're not spending with your family. And there's a compound effect of that. Then there's a compound effect of that. Everything have compound effects and side effects. I know it's a little off about Tesla, Team Tesla, but this is life we're talking about. This is life we're talking about and how important it is that to learn this shit, man. It's not even like a game no more. Like it's like really serious. Like you guys see what happened with GameStop. You guys see what happened with a lot of these companies. There was people that made a lot of money. Some by accident, and some knew what they was doing, right? Because they was in tune. They was in tune. You got to be in tune and learn the skill set. 
what happened, that's not going to happen again. Probably will, but they're going to be regulating you know, a whole bunch of other stuff, right? Listen, I'm a blabber my mouth. I'm a blabber. We up $12 out this month. Was a pussy curse, see? All right, man, holla at y'all, man. Hello? I can't stop it. Come on.